Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. I feel super professional right now, like I'm actually wearing high heels. Like, not that you can ever see underneath the desk, but a lot of the times I'm wearing like a nice shirt and pajamas and slippers. But today I feel very like, okay, we're here to talk the real deal. We're gonna get down to business. We are talking about Beauty Bakery and some of their newer launches, but we're also going to revisit some of their other products. It's about time because I first discovered this brand about a year ago, fell in love with a lot of their products. I think they are a great brand. They are technically an indie brand. They have a shop in San Diego that I drove to and I purchased a bunch of stuff myself and I was just like loving it because it's just, it feels like a grown-ups, like it has kind of like a kid vibe, but it's like, it, but it's, ma it's makeup. Back to being professional today. Uh, anyway, I'm like, I love makeup that looks like candy. They have a very strong theme within their brand. Everything is like very cutesy. And like even this right here, this is their setting powder. It's called Flower. I did a dedicated video on this. I'm gonna link all dedicated videos to Beauty Bakery below. Something that I do have to say I love is there is a giant shade range, whether it is with concealers that they have recently launched or with their foundation. They came out with 30 shades all at once. They are infused with vitamin C, vitamin E. They are smudge proof. And this is where I get really like, <sighs> majority of Beauty Bakery products I do love. This is the first one that I really, really don't like. The Cake Mix foundation was the biggest hot mess for me. I tried it four different times and then I took a break from it and I was like, maybe it was some weird moisturizer that I was wearing and I tried it again and the same thing was happening. This is one of those sticky dry down foundations that moves. So if you don't use a stippling motion and you accidentally, just like even for a second swipe, you're gonna move some of that foundation off and then it all starts peeling off and it just does not wanna layer. I had issue after issue after issue with this. I can't even believe this. I can't figure this foundation out to save my life and I want to. Which is so frustrating because this really is, you know, a dream foundation. It's a demi matte, it comes in a pump, it has a huge shade range. So, you know, the shade range is so spot on and I love how cute the packaging is, but I just had a problem applying it. And if I did it wrong, cause I'm gonna put in clips of me applying, please educate me, let me know. Like I tried to find out as much information as I could. I could not get this to work. So all of you guys wanna know if I like cake mix or not. No, I do not. I am not a fan of it. It says it's smudge proof, but the problem is you just, you can't even get it to look good to dry down to get to that long wearing smudge proof. This does come in 30 shades. It's $28, so the price is not crazy ridiculous. I just wanted so much more from it. So this was like my first beauty bakery product that I really just don't like. And I know it was such a huge launch and it's just like, Arr! but so many of you guys wanted to know. So there's my thoughts. I was gonna do a full day wear test. Like I couldn't even get it. I couldn't even get it on my face to do the full day wear test. Like if I try to blend it, I don't understand. And then if I try to take more to like blend Oh my God, like, do you see? I talked about this uh, Neapolitan ice cream palette and I've dirtied her up quite a bit. They are pretty firm shadows. There's not a lot of fallout. Like it doesn't, you can't see fluff everywhere. And that's because when you put your brush in, it doesn't like fly everywhere. It's pretty firm. So you do need to build them up. But today I am wearing just a touch of strawberry sliced almonds and I put vanilla bean just all over the lid and it just gives this like very subtle kind of a sheen. So their eyeshadows are great. They have loose glitters. They have really fun products as far as gel eyeliners. Those are all totally Tati approved. The color that I'm wearing on my lips right now is Versailles. Versa Versailles? Wait, I watched a documentary on Netflix on that, on like the woman that wanted to build like the biggest house ever in the world. Wasn't that? We never sought out to build the biggest house in America. It just kind of happened. Someone knows what I'm talking about. Okay, this is Versailles Lip Whip. And this is a beautiful, just like gorgeous color. 
easy to wear. This is one coat, one dip. I really love their liquid lips. They're not overly sticky. Um, they are transfer proof, but they're not that dry down matte that makes you so insane because you can like feel it sucking the life out of your lips. There's something about this. Woo! Oh, she lost one. Okay, I'll still swatch it. There's just something about this formula that works really well, especially the darker shades. They just, I don't know. They did something right with the formula. They got it right. And that's why when you walk into the shop, all you see are like the lip products. Like there's so many shades and it's just, oh, it's so satisfying and beautiful. And these are great quality. If you have not checked out Beauty Bakery Lip Whips and you're a fan of liquid lipsticks, I would definitely, definitely recommend checking them out. They're 20 bucks, they're comfortable, they are transfer proof, they are long wearing, and they do not dry your lips like crazy. So I really love these, I've held on to these, they're good. The mascara that they just brought out is really great. I just happen to prefer a drugstore mascara. It's cheaper and I just don't see a reason to recommend um, products that are more expensive that work exactly the same. So it's not that this new mascara is bad. It's just that I'm still stuck on L'Oreal Lash Paradise. That's just how it is. That's just how I run. I'm like, it's under 10 bucks. It works, we're good, done. So this is the eyelash icing. But if you were curious about it, it is good. It's smudge proof, lengthening, and volumizing, so you get kind of like the best of both. A little lengthen, a little volume. This one is in the $18 range, and yeah, I'm kind of just, you know, on the fence about it. Another product that they do have that I die hard love so much, they have these little pads that will remove your liquid lip. Now, they have just enough oil on them that when you just like place it on your mouth, it does all the work for you. I know we have all been there where you have a liquid lip on and you come home and you are struggling and it is like taking off red nail polish and like how your nails turn like red everywhere. And with liquid lips, like that can happen too where you feel like, oh my gosh, this crap is getting everywhere. And that is just so frustrating. And then you're rubbing and scrubbing and irritating your skin. So they have these pads and it really does the very best job of removing your liquid lip. It is a prayer answered. I love those. I cannot do without those. They're the best. These concealers I'm still trying out. I'm not 100% sure if I like or don't like them. You know, I'm very picky with concealer. I'm very, very picky. Tarte Shape Tape, Estee Lauder. Kim Kardashian I'm still using, and even though that one day my one eye looked better than the other, I started kind of pulling back from it. It's weird how products are like that, but that's like in my top five still. Catrice, um, a lot of Maybelline ones. I just, I'm very, very picky with concealer. This is full coverage, but it is a bit thick. Has a great shade range though. So I will update you guys when I play with these a little bit more. I wanna wear them a little more before I give you like the yes, no. But this is a new addition to the Beauty Bakery beauty product family as well. All right, you guys, there you have it. That is your update on Beauty Bakery, their new products. We know how I feel. I don't need to go into it any deeper. And let me know what other indie brands you're into. I know I did yesterday a bunch of indie brands and some of the stuff worked out so, so, so good. I will link that below. Stay tuned till tomorrow because, like stay tuned till tomorrow. <laughs> Sit and wait there until the next video uploads. Um, come back tomorrow because I do have a makeup routine, like an actual step-by-step -step tutorial showing you guys how I get fresh looking skin and dewy makeup, easy makeup, really current and I love how it turned out. So uh, please come back for that. I hope to see you tomorrow. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I always am just like, I feel it when you guys do that. It helps me to know that you liked the video. So I hope you liked it. All right, I'm wishing you a good one and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.